Hey guys, so I am back in Ladakh. Uh, what was I about to say? I need to film this all over again. I just wanted to show you my skincare. This is my winter skincare that I've carried with me. Um, this is the skincare that I always stick with if I'm traveling to any cold uh, area. So over here in Ladakh, it's a dry kind of weather and it's cold as well. And the weather is kind of moody. It's in the month of August currently. Um, so it's kind of cold, chilly. So my skin needs that extra hydration on top of that and a good sun protection. So these are the three main skincare items recommended to me by my dermatologist. So yeah, the first thing is this... Um, face wash by bioderma oh my god i'm a big fan of skincare by bioderma so bioderma is a french pharmacy skincare brand and this face wash i kid you not i have gone through so many tubs of this and this particular size lasts me for three months it's kind of expensive but i only need like a tiny bit of it it has no scent and it's super skincare friendly skin friendly so this one is for 1700 rupees available on nika um and amazon uh and any chemist store that you go to easily available and recommended by dermatologists so i've been using this non-stop for like um two three years now this particular face wash and this moisturizer is so good this one uh, is within 1200 rupees uh, very good i use this in the morning and at night time twice uh, for night time and uh, morning skincare routine so this is something i regularly religiously use so this is something that i restocked on before uh, coming to ladakh because i know from my first visit in Ladakh, I noticed that these skincare items are not available over here easily. So I decided to just get this, you know. So these are like brand new that I got, which I'm going to open today. And this I've been using it since more than a month. And still a lot of it is left uh, till here. So two more months, this face wash will last me. So yeah. Hi guys, I've recently started my own small business called mandodri.com. It's an online website store where I sell paper stationery products, these greeting cards that you see and the shagun envelopes of two different sizes which are available on mandodri.com and greeting cards and different kinds of themes of designs like floral theme block print theme and jungle theme is also available in mandodri.com this is from our flower collection it's the bougainvillea design and we have in the middle the pocket size shagun envelopes and then the full size shagun envelopes which has a nice romantic look to it and then the greeting cards with the matching bougainvillea envelopes these are all available in mandodri.com hey guys so today is the 16th of august 2024 i forgot which day it is of the week but yeah i have to pack now because tomorrow early morning we have to head out for a different location in ladakh yeah 
so this is my luggage collection i love this one this is from herschel's so this one and this backpack i've had it for like more than five six years especially the backpack it's much more older than five six years and this one uh, Herschel uh, Supply Co is an American brand so I got this from the shop pop website many years back I love it and as you can see it's been handled very roughly then this one I got new this is from the American tourist I thought let's try the American tourist because I needed like a bigger luggage so as you can see the size comparison this one is the smallest one which one can use it as a carry-on as well so this one is safari brand what i like about the american tourist and the herschel supply co is that both of them have like tsa lock so i feel that's very important if you're going for like an international trip as well this safari one doesn't have a tsa lock but it's okay this one was 3000 something this one is also 3000 i think this one is like within 4000 rupees pretty reasonably priced very good study yeah so you know me and my husband we keep on using these three luggages um back to back whatever our mood is so i'm pretty happy this is the new addition to my luggage collection so it's four o'clock now and we are leaving for a couple of days traveling in lay so let's see how it goes So we're spending some time with the nomads. Now we have to go and look for a place to stay and then in the evening we'll join the nomads again. The nomads over here they're very nice, very welcoming. Come, come, come to me, come. Young <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
one thing i wanted to mention is the road journeys in ladakh if you love to drive especially if you have a 4x4 car it's an amazing experience driving around in ladakh wherever you go the beautiful mountains surrounding you and the journey of off-roading is just amazing so we're having butter toast and chai what time is it then 5 30. it's 5 30 a.m and then we finally reached Hanli and oh my god this place is so beautiful we went to see the 17th century monastery and from the top we could see the whole view of the Hanli village this place is the place to visit if you love nature quiet places basically there's nothing to do over here and you will get very simple dal chawal food but it is definitely worth it definitely spend at least two nights over here there will be no network once you reach over here and we stay that this homestay called kalsang homestay naga and definitely recommend this place we even checked out a few wild donkeys you could see if you explore the place in hanle you can find loads of wild donkeys and horses just roaming around freely exotic birds we managed to check out over there and then there were foxes and it was just beautiful definitely definitely recommend this place do check out hanley in ladakh In Hanli, we went to the Indian Astronomical Observatory, but sadly it was closed for the public. And Disha somehow managed to capture a lizard over there, so I got excited and I managed to touch it for the first time. And then we released it in the wild where we got it from. Hanli is truly a beautiful place and I highly recommend if you get the chance do check out Hanli. Over here we went to a place where one of the nomads were staying and their sheep was just herding and it was just nice and beautiful cold cold weather. And while we were in Hanli our car got stuck it was late in the evening time and it started to rain as well but somehow the team patiently were trying to figure it out how to take the car out and the team somehow managed to get the chain around the wheel wrap it around the wheel and then once we did that the whole team got together and started pushing the car and finally we managed to get the car out and as you can see it was raining as well even the local people they came and they tried to help us so the people over there very sweet it was by that time it was 9 30 10 pm finally we managed to get the car out 